Hello, my name is Amy Corman and I am a horticulture extension educator with Penn State Extension. Today we're going to talk about control of spotted lanternfly using systemic pesticides and I'm going to demonstrate the basal trunk spray method. There are a number of systemic pesticides on the market that are available for homeowner use and homeowners can do some research online to pull up products and make comparisons. I have an example of such a product here today. We, we always recommend that everybody checks the label out carefully. The label is the law and the label is not just the front cover on this product but it's all the pages that follow it. So I recommend that everybody be sure to read the entire label for the product that they choose to use in order to do a systemic treatment. All right, when you check out the label, you'll see that there's some very important information right at the very beginning. And this label says, applicators and other handlers must wear a long sleeve shirt, long pants, shoes plus socks. No less than that. One can wear more for personal protective equipment, but no less than long sleeve shirt, long pants, shoes and socks. That means no flip-flops and no sandals. So the other thing the label will tell is what the user safety recommendations are. It's very important that you read this before you use any pesticides. The other information that's contained in the label are the actual instructions on how you calculate how much pesticide mix you need to generate in order to treat your tree. All of that information is included in the label information that you get on your product. Once you've read the label and you've made your calculations, then you can prepare your mix and put in your sprayer. So the instructions for the basal spray application are clearly outlined on this label. We've mixed our product here in this tank and we're gonna treat this trunk of this tree from the tree flare. That's where the bottom of the tree meets the soil up to four or five feet around the base of the tree. Okay, we're going to uniformly spray this tree. We want to make sure it's wet just to the point of saturation. We want to work our way around the tree and we want to cover the tree completely. These pesticides work by um, the tree absorbing it through its bark and translocating the pesticide through the tree and so when the insect feeds on it later in the season, the pesticide is in the tree sap and the insect will die. We don't apply these pesticides when the bark is already wet. We're trying to work around the tree, get a nice uniform application. You've mixed only enough that you can use in order to treat the tree that you have targeted for an application. All, and so at the end of your application, your tank will be finished because you are not going to make more of a mix than you really need to use. Get a nice uniform application of spray around the base, around the trunk of this tree.